What's up, SFA? Welcome to Homecoming Week here at SFA Amrails Weekly. Uh, since it's homecoming this week on campus, we're not going to keep you for very long. So we're going to try out a new episode this week. We're going to have a lightning episode. Lightning round! Ready to do this? I am. All right, let's do it. All right, so we're going to talk about Greek women's here. Our pretty competitive division of five teams. Here's our power rankings for this week. As I have called from the beginning of the year, Kayo's up at top. They're the, te they're the team I called to win it all. Not a surprise. Um, the big surprise, though, is Tridel. What's going on, Tridel? 0 oh, 2? I mean, you were in the championship game last year. Delta Zeta, our returning champs, they're at number two. They got a good team, also. So, this was my pick for the championship game. 1 and 2, not a surprise. Steven? Thanks, Andrew. And to start off with Greek men, K.A. and Pike. Still number one, number two, Sigtal and ATO, still three and four. Um, those four teams, they're really just so far ahead of everybody because they have good quarterbacks. They can really get the ball where it needs to go, and that's a big difference. But uh, I picked K at the beginning of the season to be my champion, and I don't know. More and more I'm seeing Pike, and I like their pass rusher. I think they have a defense that can really shake up K and be to have what it takes to win the championship. And we'll get to find out because these two teams face each other in our game of the week for Greek men's. Back to you, Andrew. All right, next we're going to talk about Greek co -Rec. Our small division, only four teams. Really, not too much shake-up all year. Sigtal tried it out. They've been the best team all year. And really, they haven't been challenged. They beat the Rebels this past week in a pretty close game just because the Rebels scored there at the end. But really, this is what I'm going to ask. I'm going to ask Pike and Kayo and Rebels, step up your game come playoffs. I want to see... Sig tall and try to get challenged because right now they're just going to walk away with it. Thanks, Andrew. All right. Over to women's. Uh, Actually, awesome. Still number one, Black Diamond, Signify Lambda, and see these TDs. You know, once again, we've got four teams just running away with the division. It's it's uh, it's kind of upsetting, you know, because, um, you know, no offense, suck, suck. They're not that good, but they're still in the top five. Uh, and it's, it's really going to come down to these four teams. We've got an exciting matchup. Signify Lambda plays see these TDs. And, I mean, that's going to be a great game. I'm excited for it. I know Andrew is. He's always been talking about it for about a good two weeks. Back to you. Next up, Korek. Accidentally awesome up top, creating the dynasty. Already called it. Korek's over. But I'll talk about it just for our fans. Next up, Five Dollar Footline got two. Steven's team. Flag football team third. Nice snatch fourth. Guess what, nice snatch? You got a chance to shut me up because you got accidentally awesome next week. Fumble this fifth. Fumble this. Mm, gotta show me something. Steven! All right, Eris White and the Knights taking over men's rec, finally gaining the top spot. Fourth and 20, they're looking good every other week. They're just getting better and better. Off in the woods, two Megatron receivers can't stop that. Too tall. Sioux Girls, one cup, still haven't played a game. They played uh, this week for the first time, and uh, that'll be a good matchup, by the way. They play has -Men's, Justice League, you know, who knows? Maybe Aquaman can get lead them to the championship. Thanks, Steven. All right, I'm back. Just went and scouted some teams. I'm back. Got our comp teams right here ready to go. Weibo, congratulations on the midseason tournament. We'll see you down at College Station for regionals. That's why they're number one. Nation, 1-0 and in their debut. They looked really good. Scored every time they had the ball. Money team, show me the money! 2-0, and pretty good. RNS, disappointing loss after beating some black guys. A little disappointed in you, James Fowler. No fly zone! My team, making number five. Got their first win this week. That's what I like to see, Steven! <sighs> Sorry, guys. Full-time job scouting intramural sports. But I'm here. He's Let's a little, pick these games. It's a little out of shape. But. <sighs> All right. These are our games of the week. Greek women's, Kyle, and Tridels. I'm going to go with a team, Tridel. I'm giving them one last chance to, you know, show me that they're, they're worth something. Kyle, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that he disrespected you like that. Number one for a reason this week. Okay, uh, Greek men's. Uh, I know I picked KA, but I don't know what it is, but I'm really feeling Pike. Difference in this game. It's not the quarterbacks. It's the one that's going to get rushed more, and that's KA. They're going to get rushed more by Pike. That's why I'm going Pike. Uh, women see these TDs, Sigma Phi Lambda, really fast girl for Sigma Phi Lambda, really good quarterback for see these TDs, and I'm going to go with the quarterback. I think that's key to winning, win winning women's games. i got to be honest, haven't watched either of these teams play, 
So you know why I'm going Sigma Phi Lambda? Because I got a friend that goes to Texas A&M and she's in Sigma Phi Lambda. So I'm going Sigma Phi Lambda. Uh, Co-Rec, accidentally awesome. It's really hard to find a game of the week. You know, I'm not even going to talk about it. Go ahead and talk. <laughs> you can go ahead. Just, whoever they're playing is game of the week because you get to watch that team play. It's just that, it's that great. Um, men's Rec, both teams haven't played a game yet, but they've both been talking a lot. Um, uh, I have friends on both teams, but sorry, husbands. Both my Sioux girls won cup. They've been called the Rex Rivals. And they show why tonight has been. And men's comp. The great rematch of the playoff game last year that had so much controversy behind so many calls and so many uh, just things that happened. But uh, I'm going to go with uh, the nation. I got them getting a little revenge from that playoff game. They've been thinking about this game for a year now. They have. They've been waiting. They've been wanting SBG. They retooled for one game. You know what game it was? SBG. That's why Nation wins. And it's not close. And for our tiebreaker, I got Nation winning 30 to 0. 30 0! Man, that's, di that's disrespectful. I'm going to go 27 to 6. <laughs> I just don't think they can score on the nation. I don't think they have the offense to do it. I don't either. Dante, Booby, prove us wrong. I hope you do because I hope it's a good game. Nation, please prove me right. <laughs> and try to. Come on. Come on, ladies. Kyle! Time for a win. 0 oh 2. All right, so let's talk about some of the homecoming festivities we have this week up at the Rec Center. First thing we have tomorrow, starting at 3, come up to the uh, Rec Center, come tie-dye a t-shirt for free. Pretty cool shirt, goes along with the homecoming theme, and you get a free t-shirt. All right? Shrek. Shrek. All right, and then Friday, disc golf tournament. Um, it's 10 bucks to play, I'm pretty sure. and. All the money goes to, uh, what scholarship is it? Do you know what it's called? I'm not sure. It uh, goes to a scholarship fund. It goes to a rec scholarship. But um, it's gonna that be a good at time. 2 o'clock. 2 o'clock over at Pecan Park. Get a free disc out of it. I'll so, be out there, so. All right. Get to go see this man. Outside of that, go enjoy homecoming this week. Have fun. Stay Show safe. up. Show up on Saturday. Let's support. SFA has a big game against Southeastern this week. We need a win. Need a win to stay in contention for conference so um so that's it for this week's episode um thanks for watching stay classy and the trumpets they go and the trumpets they go